Good morning, uh, Paul Harvey here. I'm going to introduce you to my favorite SEO tool. This thing is awesome. WordPress SEO by Yoast. Yoast is a magnificent Dutch SEO fellow who has turned all of the um, all of the basic rules for on-page optimization into a little plugin for WordPress. So how do you get this awesome thing? It's just sitting right here. How do you get it? Well, you hop into your uh, WordPress dashboard and you go and find plugins, add new. So you open up that. Then once you get there, you type in the search section. You search for, uh, what is it now? Um, oh, Yoast SEO, that'll do. Uh, it's like toast but with a Y. And then once you've found it, there it is, WordPress SEO by Yoast. You'll just click that little button there. Well, see that one has a button, but I've installed it. So you click there, you install it, and off you go to the next stage. Now, next stage, I'm just going to jump back to where we were. You go to a post, and you're editing a post. Same thing with the pages, doesn't matter either which way around you like to go. Now, you, this is one which I have not optimised yet. You can see because the SEO uh, little light there is um, grey and it says there's no focus keyword set. So what's this page about? Well, hopefully if we've already done um, some work together, then we've already helped you with the keyword research phase and we've given you the best keyword for this page. And you're just using one of the pages on your site or posts to make that line up with the most, the juiciest keyword. So in this case, we're going to go for cost effective SEO. That fills in all this stuff. It's, you can ignore all of that. Just click anywhere else on some white space. Currently, it comes up with a lot of reds there. Now, the first thing we have to do to get a full, um, to update this and the various other things is now that you've changed that one thing, you just click update. Um, now, scroll back down. Okay. So, oh, now that we clicked update, sorry. It's given us this orange which says it's pretty crap. Well, we're going to fix that up. We're going to use the tool to fix it up. Now, isn't this cool? Up here in this little box is exactly what you'll see in Google, or pretty close to what Google, you'll see in a Google listing. Uh, when you um, when you search for if, if cost-effective SEO and you found my blog entry there, that's what you get. Um, okay, cost effective SEO. The first problem is the article heading does not have the keyword. Right, let's go fix that. Article heading. That's this thing up here. Okay, is SEO cost effective? Let's just change this round to. Um, okay, so it's got to be cost effective SEO. But that doesn't make a sentence, does it? Cost effective. Is, here we go, this is a trick. Is it cost effective? Question mark. SEO in the spotlight. I mean, that's not amazing, but it'll do. See what I've done? Cost effective SEO. Google doesn't care about punctuation. That to them is a keyword. Now, this is a little thing which you'll, if I do an update now, Unfortunately, this is one little bug, not a big bug, with uh, Yoast's thing is Yoast's thing doesn't realise that Google doesn't care about punctuation. So it's still going to complain about that. But we know it's right, so that's okay. Page title. Okay. Page, what? Article heading and page title. Confusing, isn't it? Um, 
cost-effective SEO. Let's just say that. Um, you know what? This is hard. I'm not going to bother. We don't have to get everything perfect. You just have to get most of it because that's still a really good heading. Um, I'm going to change it and your wallet. This thing has got more punch. It's got to be readable for humans. Now, the next thing down is in the URL. Okay, it's not in the URL. Now, the URL is this bit here. on there. Now, I just click edit there. And I'm just going to rejig that. It's a cost effective dash. Oh. Bonk. Oh, it's giving me a big fat zero. That's not very nice. Let's just see what happens if we update the page. Maybe that goes away. Ooh, good question. Me. Log me out. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where's that post? There it is. Let's get back into it. Is SEO cost effective? We didn't quite save that, did we? Cost effective SEO. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Now I'm just going to click update so that we can refresh that little checklist down below. Scrolling down, ah, oh, we've got a tick finally. So it's not in the article heading or the page title, but it is kind of because see, it's there good enough. Content, not in the content. Okay, let's get this fixed up. Um, that a cost effect. Oh, I don't have capitals. Should be in the first paragraph for sure. SEO campaign should be okay, like that. And let's just chuck it down in the end and make a cost effective SEO campaign. That'll do. Okay. Um, meta description. So when we refresh, do that update, that should fix that. Now, meta description is no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, this is interesting. SEO title. Let's just type it in here. And that. Oh, look at that. It's gone green already. Fantabulous. Um, is it worth all the money? Now, I know that some people use, I'm not going to use, is it. I'm going to go full thing because some people, it's the other way that some people enter it in. So some might type in search engine optimization as the full thing. Most people don't. But now meta description. Okay. Look, I like this, so I'm going to use it. But it see, it chops it off. So let's just grab some of it. Um, what? Uh, Makes oh, that's really crap. Let me just pause it and have a th pause the video, have a think. I'll put together something and I'll come back to you. Okay, I've got something here with the word cost effective SEO in it. It's not magnificent. You have to understand that this line, this section here, this this is what is going to grab people as they're reading Google. So let me just see. Let's do a cost effective SE, SEO. Did I type it right? Oop, not right. Okay. Right. So, this guy with the five, nine for five out of ten, you're probably going to click on him because he's got his picture and everything. Uh, unless you click on the first one. 34% of people click on the first one. But if you want to be grabbing attention, then Having something sensible to say in that section, some people read it. That's how they tell which one they want to look at. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to rank this page on, on the first page here. Obviously, we'll talk to you more about that. That is a gold having a, a big photo of yourself. It's called Google Authorship. Um, yeah. 
so this is this this is the type of thing that I've got to have something that makes you read it and go oh I want to click on that but for now this will do for the demo uh, you would really want to word that in really carefully um, because it's for people but it also has to be just a little bit for our computer Google okay I've clicked update now I'm going to go into the next part of Yoast so I've got enough ticks here oh I don't have one in the contents still I thought I added that didn't I stick one down here a cost effective SEO campaign well there you go it's just not behaving but generally this thing is amazing so now let's have a look here this is this the, where the real value of this this plugin comes into play it says what you need to fix okay I already have one outbound link on the page as a link going out from the page I've got a page title with the keyword phrase I've got a meta description there see how does it compare to the competition could it be made more appealing exactly Keyword phrase appears in the URL, yes, and meta description, yes, page title. It's 520 words, which is greater than their recommended 300. I'd probably go for five in my recommendations, but three is fine. Uh, you have not used your keyword key rate phrase in any subheading, such as a H2 in your call. All right, let's fix that now. Um, one page, one SEO cost effective. Um, let's fix this. What makes four cost effective SEO? That's great. Now, what heading level is that? That's a heading two, it says there. That's a heading two, that one there. So that's probably a good start. Let's see if what happens. Us. the keyword density is 0.39% which is a bit low okay all right let's add it somewhere else there we go now I'll quickly click update and now we'll scroll down oh I'm getting a few more green lights that's great and more green lights wonderful I've just bumped it up from 0.39 to 0.77 so I could add a few more don't go over the top here we only really want it about 2% maximum and it says no images consider adding some as appropriate so how do you add an image into your picture it, let's find something useful um, where might I go to find public domain picture Ooh org file I love it org file is a superb site here it is don't need that so you go to morgfile.com and let's just type in SEO let's see what we get nothing there okay let's go for a bit more generic search ah perfect file that'll do everything here is free and free to use so Download the image. Yep, 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 yep. Save it down. That's great. No pranks. Thank you so much for your help, Morg file. Now we're going to jump back to here and we're going to add an image. Add media. Upload files. Select. Hopefully, it's sitting somewhere in my. Where is it here? Recent downloads. That's great. Now, this is what we're not going to do. We're not going to just upload that because it's file 001, whatever, whatever. There's gold in this. This is a tip which I want you to take on board. Where's your rename? There it is. So, now you rename it to be cost effective. SEO, right? With your keyword, rename the file of the image to be your keyword. Now upload that. 
Yeah, that was a pretty big one. There it is, it's chugging through. These are all our other pictures of uh, first page listings on Google. So we've got for our other customers. And just about done. Now yeah, we're going to pop in here. Plus, let's go. That one. Oh, don't make that. It's forgotten what I typed. So it's going to be in the title. It's also what marks. Is you don't need to have it exactly the same in the alt text. Uh, one of the title and the alt text should be sort of similar, but not quite exactly the same. So I don't want on the center. I'll chuck it on the right, and it doesn't need to be ginormous. Just stick it like that. There we go. That's linked to nothing. Perfect. There. Right. Update. And now I think we're going to be looking at a pretty happy. Pretty happy Yoast. Look at that. We got rid of all the reds. That's pretty good. The images on this page do not have alt tags. <laughs> okay, alright, we'll go back and pop it in. So click on the image, edit that there, and um, alt text. What makes or cost effective SEO? That'll do. That'll do. Now it's, it did whinge. It said haven't quite got the keyword density up there. Oh, let's try it. Um, oh, actually, yeah. I'll do one more. There, that that should be enough. See, I've got a green light as the general status of things. Go back down. That's perfect. Look at that. Happy days. Whatever it says, 1.13 now for the keyword density. Coffee scores 49.1 in the Flash Reading Index, which considered difficult to read. Now look, what's your target audience? Are they kids? The Flash Reading Index is way basically it gives you an idea of how old roughly I mean, it's pretty intense but basically I'm set of what I said 49 for me easily understood by 13 to 15 year old students well seriously the people on the internet aren't that dumb <laughs> um, so 49 yeah, really isn't that bad <laughs> so a 12 year old should be able to understand 49 roughly Best understood by university graduates. Oh, okay. So it's upside down. So it's a little bit higher. Fine. It's, this is above a 15 year old and under a f university grad. Look, bottom line is when you see that warning, have a think. Do you think you need to dumb down the big words in your? Um, Basically, it's about getting rid of big words. Unfortunately, optimization is a pretty big word and it shows up a lot <laughs> when you talk about SEO, um, which is probably one of the biggest issues here. There might be some. I wouldn't bother. Ooh, I see a typo. Fixed. Okay, look, I've explained the, uh, the, the gist of, it, of everything you need to know about uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast. Um, oh, there is a another two tabs here, an advanced tab, which seriously do not touch this stuff, it's confused the spit out of you. Um, I often have to look at it pretty typically. <laughs> Basically, if you want to remove something from your sitemap, then you can do that here. Don't even worry about it. Um, and this is irrelevant because you. this says if you don't want to use the meta description for sharing on Facebook, but you probably put a fair bit of effort into getting this right, which is your meta description, so leave it be. <laughs> Alright, uh, 20 minute video, sorry it was so long, um, but now you've got everything around uh, WordPress SEO. Good luck!